most exceptional leaders grow into their capabilities, not because they are trying to be a great leader, but because they're trying to be worthy of the people they lead. That's the servant leadership Very idea. Good. Yes. If you want the people with whom you work to improve their performance, first improve your own. If you want others to expand their capabilities, first expand your own. And that is about as good a, a as good an instruction manual for what it takes to be a leader. Leader leadership is a choice. Yes. And either you make it actively and you lean into it and recognize that your primary job is to improve your own performance, to expand your own capabilities. And, and I think that, that that is at the very, very heart of the, of the, the DNA or the, the secret that turns a small business into a great small business, great business. Right, is, right. And, and its ability to attract people, to be profitable, all of those other business skills is if the leader accepts that challenge, difficult though it is in a small business because the financial, the lack of resources, the lack of resources is, is always an issue. Yes. But that's where... I say strategy and financial fluency, as long as, and, and in a, an approach of servant leadership, if you can get those three together, then that's your, your ticket out of Groundhog Day. And so important to get the right leader. You get the wrong leader, they can destroy all before them. I mean, the, the, the vision for, for an organization does not rise above the vision and the, and the, the humility of the leader. Well, visioning is one of the things that I teach Mm -hmm. business leaders to do and have a very specific process that, right. that I lead people through in order to extract that that idea of what success looks and feels like at a very specific point in the future tying that into their to their business model and ensuring that they have a map of the destination that is inspiring strategically sound and shared by the entire organization. I believe that to be at the heart of one of the, at the heart of the, the skill set that a leader needs to have is to be able to articulate that vision. But it is, the word vision is one of those inflated words that sort of float around the business world that can mean pretty much anything from a big goal mm -hmm. to some sort of woolly aspiration for being market leader or something that it, it a vision for me is something very specific. It's a, it's a, description in detail in narrative prose in the present tense anchored at a very particular moment in time and giving as broad a view of all, all the aspects of the business at that point that the visionary can think of and evolve that's sure. and getting there is it's really hard work mm -hmm.